So today I am finally starting a new series here on my channel and it is art inspired by Hiroyuki Takashi and he is an amazing amazing artist in Japan who I have been following for a little while now and I'm so in love with his art. He does really fun vibrant um, looks with like little anime girls and creates them into this really fun colorful art so I really wanted to do a lot of looks based off of his art because he's amazing and talented and oh my god all of his stuff is just so brilliant so this is the first look that I'm doing in the series and it is inspired by the character Miss Nyx um, not all the characters have names um, but I will get the names for all the ones that do have names but it's a really fun look, kind of geometric-ish. Um, and I paired it with matching hair and somewhat matching earrings. So um, I will leave the links below to where you can check out um, Hiroyuki Takashi's work on like his website, Facebook, Instagram, all that kind of stuff down below. And on with the tutorial. Okay, so I already put a primer on my lid and did my brow in blue. I just went over with a blue eyeliner and um, some shadow to set it. And for a base, I want to use this e.l.f. smudge pot in Ain't That Sweet. And it's like a really light pink color, kind of similar to my skin color. So I'm just going to add a little bit. All the eyeshadows I'm going to be using are from my Kat Von D Mi Vida Loca Remix Palette Destroyer. I'm going to be using Destroyer. It's this like pinky red color. And I'm going to be doing um, like kind of like a cat eye with the red. For the rest of the lid, upper brow area, I'm just going to go over it with a matte color. I'm going to use Molder, which is has a slight yellow tone to it, but it's matte. For another liner, I'm going to be using the ColourPop Ibiza Shadow. Um, I'm going to use this like a base for the liner, just because I want it to be very bright and show up. going to go over it with Dark Wave, which is this really pretty royal blue. Now I'm going to bring the red down on the lower lash line. And the very center part is going to be brown. And I'm going to be using um, a mix of Vox and strutter these top two browns and I did want to add some yellow because her eyes are yellow but I didn't want it to be like bam like tons of yellow so I'm using a gold this is a coastal scents um, eyeshadow I think it's in pure gold I'm just going to pop that on the inner tear duct area. And now for the lines, I'm going to be taking a teal eyeliner. This is the Nika K Auto Eyeliner. And I'm just going to draw the shapes and then set it with Synth Eyeshadow, which is a really fun bright blue. I'm going to add some mascara and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and added mascara and I added a wig. 
I just kind of used my Miku egg and wrapped it around itself a couple hundred times. And then I wanted to kind of have the same earrings as she has, but hers are red, but mine are yellow and glittery, and I made these, so yeah. Um, <laughs> so for lips, I'm going to do a nude lip. I have this little The Bomb Matt, Meet Matt Hughes um, lip paint, I think it is. And this is in Committed, and I'm just going to apply that. top of it, I'm going to use Max Luster Glass and Instant Gold. And that is the finished look of Miss NYX. Um, I really hope you guys enjoy and will enjoy this series. I am planning on doing a lot more looks inspired by his art and I just really hope you guys enjoy. It's something different. Um, you know, something non k pop -y. I will still have K-pop videos and like tutorials and stuff obviously and you know stuff like that but I wanted to do something kind of different a little bit more artistic and fun so I really hope you guys enjoyed and if you did thumbs it up and subscribe and um let me know down below your favorite current artist that is um in the scene right now and I will be more than happy to check them out so again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to all of you in my next video. Bye!